Equality. What is equality? That will be a word from a man that was destroyed by equality. Equality doesn't tolerate superiority of character, of nature, of merit, of ethos. Equality wants to make everyone equal. We aren't born equal and that's a fact. And what we develop throughout our lives, how we coin ourselves, what kind of combats and confrontations shape us, coin us, sculpt in us, may turn towards the better or towards the worse. Equality is the death of character and the killer of people's superior. It is what the meek, slavish, imitating demand in the great inferiority complex to make everything even. And as they believe in equality that is shoved down their throats, the swine, the so-called elite, the celebrities, the politicals that are worthless than the pig's feces mock their equality, mock their lack of mobility, their privileges, because the merited, the noble, the honest, the just are ruined and destroyed. And let me read a fragment of something that might be quite useful to you. It is based on the Book of Changes and the Mahayana philosophy of the Buddhists. Do you believe in bad luck? I don't, because you are born into a pre-existent scenery, a world, already burdened by settings and fixations. A family you're born in, wealth you're born in, status, privilege you're born in, and so on. However, I believe in co codependent web of causalities with various entropy pockets in topological spaces as a complex network. Here nature's sameness, otherness, inclinations and swords clash in the grand war of sculptures of the shadows and the divine. Fortunes and fortunes are different. You may take wise ro roads with strong duration and perseverance and determination under the right circumstances. Or you may take bad decisions and then you are burdened by unwisdom. However, being fortune wise doesn't prevent you from being screwed anyway. Sometimes, sometimes it makes you survive great opposition, but that's how you coin your character. Harmony with the intention of opposites was the Mitraic axiom in the Antro Nympharum. Strike that point and sustain like a bow ready to shoot its arrow starwards. The path of least resistance leads to easy positions and if you want something more, you needn't strike your head against the wall like a fool, but you need to swim through a swamp for a gush of free air among the stars and you need to put your blood, your sweat, your work, commitment, everything into that and sacrifice it at the altars of the gods. Now character source fates as it is well known and when you allow it to be twisted even once it brings bad decisions and reactively punitive actions from causalities. There is always a method to destroy you. My advice is never allow your ethos to be bent or return to it all the time. Let it be showered with storms, antagonism and destruction, but keep your diamond and your mind fixed to a star. Never let go. Life is too short not to pass its grand ordeal. Thank you.